Oh, don't mind me. I was just having a chat with Urbane here. Just sorting out my miracles. I'm um, speaking of which. Wait for it. Hmm, yeah. Hmm. I was going to start in Valley of Defilement, but I wanted to uh, save that. That's some spider stone. So yeah, this is about 20 minutes after the uh, shenanigans with the Makoto and such. Hmm. God's Wrath and Firestorm, huh? Yeah, crazy. Anyway. We're about to go. This is a good... Oh, that's a new message, huh? Alright, it was, I want to go home. Yeah, she'll have a fucking like. Alright, so Valley of Defilement. Oh boy. It's a big one. So, I'm still pretty heavy, unfortunately. That means this ring's gonna have to come off. Worst comes to worst. Alright. So, I don't remember if I read this. But we're going to now. The Leechmonger Archstone. No, we have not read this. On camera, at least. Archstone of the Demon Leechmonger. The Valley of Defilement leads to a huge swamp. Into which all that is unclean flows. Becoming a nest. A putrilage. Vermin. And plague. Bye, Bior. Uh, fucking stop showing me yurt. No, I don't feel bad. I was gonna murk everyone. Get stuffed. <laughs> okay, Valley of Defilement. Um, so, if you looked in the top right corner, you will have noticed I did not change off pure black. We are getting the experience. Um, I will deal with that black phantom later. Not right away. In a bit. So let's see, how many arrows have I got? 107, neat. Okay, so the light arrows I was using earlier were due to the fact that I have too many light arrows. So that's the thing. Just figured I'd uh, mention. So we're back to cloak, fireball, Regen and evacuate. Hey Valley. I mean, that's wrong. Hey Valley. Oh, damn, I'm trying to do a cool thing. That's incredibly lame. I'm coming for you, brother. I'll see you at WrestleMania. <laughs> oh, that was garbage. Beautiful. Alright, yeah, so to reiterate. We are full up on full moon, so I don't have much of a choice here. I have to have 32 on me. I mean, I could ditch it. That's dumb. Why the fuck did I do that? Why would I do such a thing? Okay, for the meantime, let's pop Fragrant Chan on. I'm just doing this because of Lizard Quinn. I don't want him doing a runner. Hey, buddy. Oh, yeah, so um, that counted. Great. Anyway, come on, fellas. Aha. Yeah, as you can see, though, he lived. So he's not weak. Oh. That, that was great. Yeah. I see. Poor fella. Yeah, so, um... Well, I was gonna say... Um, the other day, for some acidine reason, I went, you know what? Be great if I had a copy of Dark Souls, um, on PS3 to accompany my, uh, collection of two versions of it on the PC and the remaster on PS4 and Switch because of reasons. So, mostly because, you know, I'm crazy and I wanted to experience... White Town for real. I mean, I kind of already had on PC. For some reason, DS Fix wasn't really cooperating with my machine. It was a cheap kind of thing we bought from Aldi many moons ago, so it kind of makes sense. But yeah, this is a little bit of a different experience compared to the White Town experience. Now, we've already peeked into Valley. We had lots of fun in that general direction. Now, the one thing you're going to notice from Pure Black is shit is going to get fucked pretty quick. 
I'm gonna ha have to go off the beaten path to get items every once in a while, but... Well, hell, I'm gonna have to go off the beaten path in about five seconds. Because I'm not dealing with some shit immediately. I'm... I'm playing it smart. Now, remember, I am online. Apparently, I was the only person online. Um, so that was a thing. Wait, is this the island? Oh, fuck. Is this Ground Zero, is this Ground Zero, so to speak? I think this is where the Phantom is. No, I can't see her. I can't see Nemesis, so that's a good sign. There are some cool islands we're going to have to venture out to, though. Yep. So, due to wearing a combination of Gloom and the Black Set, we're pretty fucking good in terms of poison resistance. If I can get back on solid land. Actually, let's have a look. How's the Gloom? Yeah, pretty decent. Not amazing, but... You know what? Actually, no. Gloom's incredibly good. What the fuck am I saying? I forgot. Gloom's like the best set. With poison, with um, the black set in terms of poison resistance. Yeah, so you're gonna get that light town thing of you think you're on land but you're not. Hell, that Farron Keep feeling. Light town's got a lot of spots like that, but so does Farron Keep surprisingly. Again, little things you wouldn't expect they would have had in the third version. Well, sorry, the third iteration of a franchise. But hey. I guess Bandai Namco didn't give him enough time yet again. Oh, who knows. That's not even sarcastic. There was a lot of cool stuff cut from Dark Souls 3, I've said this before. Makes me sad. Oh, but mate, I want to write your message. Now there should be a... Yeah, there we go, finally. I think that might be it. The island. We'll have some fun. I'm probably not even going to get it. This is sort of ephemeral wise if I think I know what it is. Sorry, mate, I would, but I've just been advised to keep moving. So I can't really. I'm sorry. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Yeah, so you'll notice up there some fun. Just make sure. Yeah, we're on pure black, alright. Don't know why Stone Fang and. Oh, because we killed the Phantoms. No shit. Alright, so we're going to mose you on here. I'm gonna go over this way. So, I'm gonna be incredibly dumb. Incredibly dumb. Come on, big boy, where, where you at? Oh, he's coming. Oh lord, he coming. So I mentioned about enemies being able to move in the swamp properly and us not being able to. Are you kidding me? Dude, I'm right here. Alright, so time to do a damage test with my super fucking strong axe. And my great shield. Alright, 205, that's not too bad. Let's take a hit. Yeah, so that's still doing quite a bit of stamina damage, isn't it? I'm pretty sure we can roll here, but I'm going to be careful just in case. Alright. Now, there should be a black phantom one of these boys up there. Oh, neat. Thank you. So just there, I think that might be debris, but that could be an enemy. You can see him breathing, actually. At least I think. Ah, oh, well. Okay. To circumvent this shit, we're going to go this way. And then I'll fight them one by one. The clever way. Now, we could re run into... Uh, could be, no, that's not her. What am I saying? That's definitely not her. More jellies. But she's out there. Somewhere. The important thing is we... Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Alright, guess we're doing this. Put on the Nemesis music, me. Run or fight the creature. Bit of both. She's all coming. I know what she's doing. It appears we lost her by pure accident. I want to fight her, but somewhere I can actually... There we go. Oh, she sees us. She's coming. 
kind of, she's trying. I don't know. I don't know what she's doing. You can make her out. Okay, fuck this. Hey, you. Yeah, come on, let's go. Fight me on land. Yep. Come on. Now, she's still gonna chip the ever love. I'm trying to again. The ever loving fuck out of my shield. Without, like, hesitation. Alright, this seems like a better island to fight her on. Oh, yeah, yeah. How tough are you now, huh? Yeah, don't want to fight me on land, huh? Come here, you. Alright, let's fucking get it. Alright, time to put on the final metamorphosis music. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Vengeance! She's, she's only wearing that robe. Where's the point down? Oh well. Now, I know I'm playing it up, but that, that is the equivalent, as far as I'm concerned, of killing Nemesis at the end of RE3. Which RE3 I'm talking about? Up to you. Bit of both, though. <laughs> oh, I'm fucking happy that's sorted. That was my major concern. And remember, that's on pure black, so that was the hardest version of the to fight. But, but you cheated and didn't fight her in the swamp. No, I just wasn't an idiot. You know, you, I like you. Ah, same thing that happened to me. Unless that's me. From, no, he's dual wielding, so. It can't be. I think it, is there an edge? Ah, yep. That'll be the thief ring. Because for some reason there is a second copy of it out here. Okay, so yeah, we've done the hardest part of the whole fucking valley. We took her out. Took her out for dinner. Nice seafood dinner and never called her again. Something something Anchor Man. I gotta watch Anchor Man again. Oh no, that's Cat's Ring. The thief ring's around here somewhere though. No, I'd like to read the message. I mean, yeah, but... Wolf, I hope that was... Okay, no. There's no way the base barbarian got here. You'd have to grind a little bit before fighting Leechmonger. Yeah, I'm probably one of those weirdos that thinks Leechmonger's harder than it is, but that's... Oh, pure suckstone. Fuck yeah. Hell yeah. Um, I'm one of those weirdos that thinks Leechmonger's way harder than it is. But that's because I'm one of those weirdos that has trouble with it. Because I don't cheese it. If I cheese it, I don't fight it clever. I don't use range. I get in there and face tank the fucking shit lord. Because, um, I totally fight enemies fair. Yep, every time. Without hesitation. With hesitation, yes. Yep. Saw me fight that black phantom fair. Yep, on its terms. Totally. Now I level the playing field. Who gives a shit? So we're already, you know, dying of poison, so who gives a shit? Yeah, so we got some fumes coming out of the swamp. Okay, now I was wrong about the island, I believe. That's the one just there, as you can make out. Any goodies? Alright, so we're gonna do this. I don't remember what's on this one, so I'm excited. I'm very excited. Wait, no. No, I was totally right. That's where I fought her. On the beaches. And on the landing grounds. And the air. And whatever the hell that Winston Churchill quote was before Age of High by Iron Maiden. We will never surrender. Yeah, don't know if people know, but Iron Maiden's pretty fucking cool. Yeah, just a little. Alrighty. Let's fight you. And by fight you, I mean do this. No mercy for stooges. Alright, let's get the hashtag Valley of Defilement experience. Right about now. Fong Soul Brother coming up really fast behind me. Check it out now. With that new fat boy sound. What are you doing? 
Things don't want to fight me on ground, on solid ground. Now you, y'all might be thinking, boy, he sure is taking a while to progress to the next area of valley. Yeah, because there's a lot of shit to do out here. Don't know if you noticed. Uh -huh. We're trying to, and we're also trying to do that thing I love doing in Souls games, where mostly in three, because one and two, it's not too hard to do it. But I like having like a build that's relatively self-sufficient. So ideally, and yeah, you know, I've discussed. I like I like invading and all that. Um, one of my favorite ideas is having a build that'll basically basically man versus wild the host. So I'll just be able to just run off into Farron Keep, deep in the swamp, and like fight them as shit goes on. Oh, what's the best way to phrase this? Like, a build where I'll just regen everything I need. Um, but due to the way MP works in Dark Souls 3, not entirely viable, which sucks. So, you know, like Sun's Princess Ring, Blessed Infusions. The only problem is, yeah, you, you're kind of limited to simple infusions and backstabbing enemies. Which you can't really do with the invader most of the time. And even then, if you backstab the host, um, what are you doing? Go for the fucking kill, man. Alright, now I think we got just about everything in this part of the swamp. Yeah, there's all that too, but that's blocked off as you can see. Yeah, we'll go kill these jellies just to make sure. Because I can venture out this way now that we took care of our friend. Oh, wait, no, you're all the dead ones. No, wait, there's you two. Ah, see, item, fucking knew it. Amazing. Well, given we've built up all our MP. Fragrant Ring would just be going away, so, you know. Thank you. We're ignoring you. Because. I'll still come back and kill you, don't worry. Okay, yeah. Um, I should look at the Sucker Stone just for the sake of it. So, yeah, that's cool. So, you get some Sucker Stone. In Valley's Wildman. From these fucking... Well, you get them from mosquitoes you haven't seen yet, and you get them from, like, the parasitic ticks. They kind of just chill on the ground, doing whatever. Yeah, okay, this is it. Yeah, cool. We can continue. Hooray. 18 minutes into recording, almost 19. Probably way less for you guys. Yeah, probably, like, two minutes less, if anything. And we're finally moving to the next part of Valley. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing else to add. We're finally getting moving. Alright. This little walkway is pretty rad. I like this bit a lot. Hmm. Makes me wonder if that's where they got the idea for Irrefill Dungeon. Are oh, you fucking... Yeah, so if you thought the mosquitoes in Dark Souls 1 were annoying... Well, yeah, they are. But these guys are also annoying. Oh. Okay, there we go. Cool. So you might be wondering why I'm focusing on that so much. I think it'll be quite evident in a moment. Yeah, my 95 lock doesn't care about you, mate. Hmm, maybe that was not the one. Maybe Virtual was not the one after all. Now yeah, fucking mosquitoes, get out. Mosquitoes leave. You're not welcome in the spread. Get out of here. I'll be back for your goodies later. Huh. I feel like I totally circumvented something by pure accident. As a consequence, that sucks. So yeah, um, I guess you could consider this a good shield trivi trivializing this tough area. Yep, there we go. That's what I was waiting for. But I don't know if this is actually trivializing. This seems like I'm being rather alright, being rather fair with it. Uh-huh. Interesting technique. The bloodline technique? Learn from your family, family, family. That's what I was expecting. Hey, shitlord. 
You didn't exactly spook me, but you got me, I'll, I'll admit it. Hey, we beat the poison! Yeah, so this... Look at this fucking proverbial clown car. Huzzah! <laughs> oh, that... Yeah, that falls, um... A little higher than you'd think. I, I mean, yeah, he got me, I guess. Alright, here's the plan. Once we get nice and close, I'm gonna pop the ephemeral eyes. We don't have to worry about Black Phantom, so we're just gonna fucking run around the outskirts. We're still gonna worry about Black Phantom Giant, but I'm not fighting him again. The time has come to just fucking leg it. See you later, fuckers. Your shit's dying. Those fucking mosquitoes are coming back. Yeah, so there's my soul. So you can see how far we went just from that. That's fun. That's a character we haven't even met yet. So it's a bit of a shame we gotta... Actually, no, she doesn't appear till later anyway, so I guess this is the capacity we're gonna have to meet her in in the first place. Now, let's see. That is not an enemy. We're waiting up just a bit further. You definitely walk a lot further than you think. That's for damn sure. I honestly thought enemies came out of that first area. I guess I was wrong. So yeah, there's two attacks these guys have and you haven't seen both yet. You've seen their general spit blood because they're fuckers. You know, the thing they do in Dark Souls 1. But you haven't seen the true fun yet. Alright, you know what? This poison's, this poison's fucking annoying me. Get out of here. I should have done that ages ago. Alright, so we're going to do that clever thing everyone who smart does. We run to get your souls and in turn aggro everything. Yeah, what? Well, actually, let's aggro everything just for the lols. I know we don't like that phrase, but this feels quite apt. But this is just for the lols. Let's see how many we can kill. With my 51 arrows. Is this Legolas from Lord of the Rings? A movie I really don't care about? Because, I don't know. <laughs> Man, I'm just spending my time just hating on popular things just because. Okay, so there's at least three more of you. Can y'all just come out, please? As the offspring would have said, come out and play, please. You have that sick, like, surf guitar sounding riff. This is just been an act for her. Separate the wheat from the chap. To quote Elvin Lesko. Ow. Fuck you. You'll come out. Right, so we uh, did the hard part, but I made half for myself for no reason. In both instances. Yeah, okay, we are much higher up than I figured. It's honestly kind of weird. In the context of I'm pretty good at um, having a rough idea as to where I am normally in video games, but this area, you definitely um, forget how far you've gone. So I think that's where that black phantom was. That's one of your neighboring islands. I'm just going to get to the shortcut before we venture any further. Oh, fuck you. Oh, uh, well, guess I'm going round. That's not really an item worthwhile, I'm pretty sure. But while we're safe, let's have a look, shall we? Pure Sucker Stone. Rare Pure Sucker Stone. Enhances curved swords, katanas, so on. Blood letting effect on weapons. So we only three, thankfully, compared to, you know, the Greystone, which was fucking heavy. Yeah, we should probably do this now. For all you invaders out there playing along. <laughs> uh, no. Uh, I, I admit, I'm a little antisocial in terms of playing with people sometimes. I like, I like my Souls playthrough to be me, myself, and I. I guess. Yeah, shortcut coming up. We're not too far. We just gotta get through the village area. 
which might be a little harder than usual. No, there won't be a chainsaw guy named Dr. Salvador. We won't have to worry about that, thankfully. There are two black phantoms up ahead, though. But as we saw... Well, sorry, not black phantoms. Black, um, pure black phantom, um, giant depraved ones. Who also, the uh, slugs, make a re- you know, a return appearance. Have your fucking Bayonetta, um, Platinum Games style title card for the enemy introduction. Slugs, elite ground unit. So there's a, you can't make it out, but there's a big old, there we go. Actually, you can't. Giant old slug ball up there. Well, we will have some fun with that before we leave, don't worry. That's one of the most interesting things in the whole fucking game. Alright, now let's have a look. Sheriff's back in town. Time to mosey on forward to have a look. What the youngins are doing. So we got a new kind of depraved one just there. He's cool. I'm very interested in fighting him. So yeah, I guess that's a good thing of not really using Cloak. Now let's have a look. Where is he? Stay on target. I was going to say, they can't lose you as easily, but um... Uh, yeah. I swear to God, I'm going to walk forward. He's going to fuck us up. There he is. Bastard. Yeah, there we fucking go. <laughs> there we go. Look at him go. Now, if he actually hits us, this is going to do a fuck ton. So, that's why I'm not really giving him chances. Let's just make sure. No slug sneaking up on me? Sick. Oh, there you are, buddy. If it does that much damage damage, you can imagine how much damage it'll actually do to me when it connects. I was thinking I was going to have to use the guillotine axe or something. But, who cares? Just do this. We're strong enough. I've got all the power I need. Right here. I'm disappointed in myself because that entire time with Satsuki, I was meant to make that whole fucking reference to Give me the Yamato, Virgil. If you want it, then you'll have to take it. But of course, you already knew that. That's my shit down. It's Dan Southworth, right? Yeah, that's Virgil's BA. I wanted to make a shitty reference to it, just cause. And Overlay the Duel. That awesome, awesome song from DMC5. Now, where the fuck you at? Man, I've really got to pick up Bloody Palace V again. I just beat Artemis the other night. So, i got to keep going. Come on, fuck it. What's going on with you, mate? Get motivated. Oh, look at that. That effect's really cool, actually. Come on, get motivated, fucker. He's doing it. We're gonna clear the way for him. Okay, this might have been a terrible mistake. Alright, come on, you fucking just... Yeah, I was about to just aim the um, bow to shoot that the way for him. And I knew the second I'd do that, he'd fucking go for it. Yeah, I apologize if this appears to be playing it lame. But, well, I'm not dying again. I mean, I might. But I don't intend to. That's not, that's not in my plans. I know one or two places I could possibly die from in this area, but I'm not doing it now, damn it. Yeah, I fuck this. Yep. Hey, did you know circle strafing is pretty fucking strong in Souls games? Also, that's greedy. I shouldn't have done that. Yeah, so there you go. Take the heal. Okay, we get greedy because I know I can beat him. Ephemeral? Neat. They give a fuck ton of, Yeah, a fuck ton of souls, don't they? Yeah, more than, uh... More than DLC enemies in Dark Souls 3. Ah, well, just mostly the Millwood Knights. Fuck Millwood Knights. They're not even hard, they're just annoying. They're not... Yeah, I don't remember how dodgy they're... Well, it's not really dodgy, that's a bad word for it. Um, the backstab hitbox is on them. 
I rarely ever get it. It's kind of like Black Knight. In theory, they're super easy to backstab. I will Dark Souls 3 ones. But the way they twist and turn always makes me miss it. Always. It's cool when you land it, though. Yeah, what are you going to say? I'd like you, but I'm in poison, so now's not the time, man. Alright, that should be that. So there is a merchant up ahead. It's the old lady we found earlier. Ah, he's not the merchant, don't worry. Here we go. So I'm pretty sure these guys can, can cast plague on top of that. But well. Just poison. Also, yeah, you can just murk them like that if you want to. I got poisoned again from the residue? Ah, oh, fuck this. Oh well. Yeah, more slugs. We'll uh, look at that in a moment. As I said, I want to just get to the shortcut. Then we can take our sweet, sweet time exploring this area. Yeah, this is one of the weirder fog walls, but there's no way around it still. Before we advance... Well, before we have a chat, rather. To our filthy friend once more. We're just going to clear out the area. Maybe I should. Maybe this is yeah. This is what will trigger him. I mean, now it's very much just look. They're defending their homes. I can't blame them. Poor guys. They don't deserve this. I feel genuinely bad for them. Being trapped in this filthy shithole. Ah, oh, this is not great. I don't know why I'm. I'm. It's weird because I like I'm sounding overly sympathetic. But, yeah. Alright. Hey, I know you. Yes, you do. Won't you buy something? My poor child is sick. He needs your help. So, she's got some heavy shit. So, Warpick and Halberd, we have to buy here. No way around it. So, I'll do that eventually, I think. The chain set. It's, this was annoying. The second we beat Leechmonger, she vanished. So, I couldn't pick this up. Mid and uh, set. This is what the Temple Knight starts with. It's heavy as fuck. So let's just see. How heavy is that? 13.5. Now I don't think there's a lot of stuff we have to pick up ahead. So I can probably carry it. I don't think I can get the last part. No. No I can't. Oh well. Finished already? I only want my dear boy to be happy. I just spent the better part of 30,000 souls on your child. Please buy another. Be grateful, come on. This place, it's a proper mound of rubbish. All the rot of the world, living or not, ends up here. I thank the stars that I still have my boy. Um, I mean, you don't actually, but Miyazaki sort of that. Ever since that demon witch came here, everything has turned foul. This was a much better place before she came. I was the apple of every man's eye. You're here to rid us of her, aren't you? Well, don't show her any mercy. I thank the... Finished already? You wretched penny pincher. Just let the children of the poor die, is that it? Anyway. Uh, fashion, fashion show, I guess. So it's heavier. I'm going to be fat rolling as consequence, yep. So, you get the general idea of how it looks. Look like an idiot. <laughs> well, actually, it's a historically accurate helmet. Now nah, it looks lame. No, it's okay, just up to taste. So we don't hit the pants, unfortunately, but yeah. Back to my gloom armor. Because cl clearly, I'm an edgy boy. You know, let's torment her one more time. I, whatever floats your boat, man. So let's just double check. Rotten arrows, all this stuff. Or pick and halberd we have to buy here. Plain stone. Yeah, so one thing to mention. When you are um, no longer human in soul form, she will sell stone of ephemeral eyes. And it'll be... What's the formula again? It's like a thousand times your level, I think it is? Or maybe that's too high. I can't remember the exact number. But there's some formula to it. Yeah, so this isn't exactly tough. 
but, you know, if I wasn't careful here, I could fucking die. So let's cast this. This isn't exactly intimidating, is it? This is why I feel sad about it. Just look at it. It feels pathetic. And not in, like, the funny way. Just... I'm sorry, guys. Okay, so these guys who are glow and black, I believe they also have plague. Or maybe they're just a poison... Yeah, maybe they're... The... I don't remember how this fucking works. So many weird mechanics in this game. That push, though. I'm accidentally pushing too, apparently. Neat. Alright, what you got for me, man? Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This I like. Oh, there we go. 